Gonna cut this aspen down that came all the way from Indian Lake, New York. Gonna do it with an ax in honor of my neighbor, Viola Ryan, and in memory of her father. You gotta stay to the end of the video if you wanna hear his story. Here goes nothing, Joe. These knots bumped off. Look at it teetering. Timber! Awesome. Viola, I'm sorry I tracked some sawdust in your house, but before... Well, the... it's quite all right. So before the rain hit, I hope you got to see some oh of the chopping. Oh my God, that was awful, wasn't it? Well, that was in memory of your father. So he, as I understand, oh, oh. he was a logger in the Adirondack Mountains. Certainly was. And, and was the term logger? Did they call him woodsman? Or what was the term back then? If you worked in the woods. Lumberjack. I don't know. Yeah, it says lumberjack in the book. Lumberjack, okay. I guess. Mm -hmm. yeah. And was he born and raised in New York? Is that oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. In Indian Lake. Yeah. And would they have cut with cross-cut saws and axes? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they didn't have chainsaw. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Lord. And did you ever get to go visit the lumber camps? No. Okay. No, it was way back in. Okay. Way back in the woods. <laughs> Would he go away? Would he go away for like a few days or a few weeks at a time, and then come home, or how often would you see? On the weekend, he'd come home. Okay. He stayed up there all week. <laughs> what was his name? I should have asked earlier. Arvin. Okay. And your maiden name? What's 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 his last? Moulton. Moulton. M O U L T O N. <laughs> That's him. Oh, come on. Right there. <laughs> I'll get pictures of these before I leave. Yeah, and then there's some. <laughs> so do you know, was it mostly for lumber, or was it also for the paper mills, or just for lumber? Both. Both? Both, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was, uh, All pine? Saying, Finch, Finch Pruitt, I think, was the, mm -hmm. the name. Wow. They had a the cook and everything. Okay. <laughs> Did they eat good? Do you know. Oh, they ate good. <laughs> yeah. And sure did. Did your mom worry about him when he would go? Oh yeah, yeah, she sure did. <laughs> and all of us kids. How many? It was how many? Six kids? of us. Okay. So here you go. How about your brothers? Did they go work in the woods at all? Did they? My oldest one did after a while. Okay. <laughs> but he was an Adirondack guide too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he was in World War Two. Yeah. That's my uncle Rodney. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, your father was in World War I? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Oh, my goodness. In the Army? Uh-huh. Okay. Wow. His name is on a plaque there in front of his school that he served in the... Let me the... draw you off. 
So, or not the Civil War. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Second. World War One. World War One. I don't think so. Okay. Did he talk about it much? Not much. Okay. No. How about working in the woods? Did he talk about that much? Or when he came home, was he not talking about the woods? Not too much. Okay. <laughs> he retired of it, I think. <laughs> Do you happen to know how they were paid? Were the men paid by volume of logs they, they produced, or were they paid by the hour? I wonder how they did it back then. I, I'm not sure. Probably by the day okay. they were paid. <laughs> but it was a good enough living? I mean, it was a comfortable enough living? Or? Oh, yeah. Good. They had oh, a, yeah. Had a cow. Yeah, we had a cow. They made their own <laughs> butter and cottage cheese. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I wore these crazy high boots today. Did your father wear boots like that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> they have a name for them? I've heard all kinds of nicknames over the years. Oh, yeah. yeah. I don't think so. Okay. I'm, sure, yeah, I'm sure that there was a name for them. Yes. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> a long time ago. <laughs> well, all the pictures I see in here, I see snow. I imagine there were some pretty bad winters. Oh, Lord, there still is, too. Yeah. They've they, had a bad winter this had that. year. I have a lot of snow right now. I have a niece that lives up there. Well, oh, many she nieces. is just so tired of it. <laughs> now, did they work through the winter when they logged? Oh, yeah. Oh, my oh, yeah. And is that how they pulled the logs in the snow with horses uh -huh. on sleighs? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, did they use railroads as well, or did they all float the logs at that point? They floated them. Right did your father do that type of work? Yeah, too? down oh, on the yeah. Hudson. <laughs> you know, yeah. one of these, there's a picture of them with all their sticks around their, oh my their things that they, well, they were, yeah. you can see that they Pike poles. Yeah. yeah. I have another book out here for you to... I wonder, did he ever fall in? Did he ever talk about getting wet? <laughs> he probably did. They, they have big hunting camps up there, too. Because he was an Adirondack guide. Yeah. And uh, so. Yeah, they'd come from all over. And they'd stay at our house, mm -hmm. most of them. The city boys. <laughs> well, how did he get into that? Was your grandfather a logger as well, a lumberjack? I think so. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> so, how'd you end up here in Danville, Pennsylvania? Mac was on vacation. Your husband. Yeah, and uh, I was sitting on the porch at the Grand Union, and that's where I met him. Is that Indian Lake you mean? Uh-huh. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so I, I imagine your father started as a boy. Oh, yeah. And did all yeah. the jobs. Yeah. And worked his way up. Right. Worked with animals, worked with the mule, or probably horses more than mules. Yeah, oh somewhere. yeah, horses. Yeah, well, yeah. Did, you, did you have a horse, or did you have a team of horses? He had a team. Well, they, they all... At your house, it. at your house, though? No. You don't remember? No. <laughs> I, I can't imagine how dangerous it would have been. Oh, Lordy, I guess so. And there had to be accidents and men getting hurt, but as far as, as, far as you know, your father never was seriously injured. No, he injured. never got hurt, no. So a lot of the horses got crushed, too. Oh, my. Yeah. <laughs> I was reading in there. Uh, well, did, did the horses belong to the men who used, like, did the horses belong to your father, the two horses? No, they belonged to the, to the company. To the company. People, yeah. Boy, oh, boy. Yeah. Finch and Prime, I think it was called. I know it was. Yeah. How would they arrange for transportation to come in to come home every weekend? Did the company provide transportation, or how did the men get home? With the horse. Okay. Yeah, and the buggy. <laughs> and yeah. Mm -hmm. Was he working at the uh, the wood as a lumberjack when you got diphtheria? Do you remember? I don't remember. Oh, I was sick. <laughs> they they were quarantined for a whole year. Oh my! The whole family. family. The whole family. Everybody, kids, nobody could leave. Couldn't go to school. Yeah, I wrote an article for our newspaper at church. So this thing we're going through now is nothing compared to what oh. you've been through. Oh no. Lord! <laughs> there was what about a half a dozen kids in Indian Lake that had it. Yeah, yeah. There was a, six of us. Yeah, yeah. and. Uh, and they took us to Glens Falls Hospital and took her tonsils out. 
That was the end of it. Mm. Yeah, so, mm. <laughs> yeah, and then she said while she was in the hospital that her mom and dad burned her cot because she stayed in the sure. living room. They burned her cot and buried the, Every the bed frame. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, it was nice of you to talk to me about your memories of growing up in the Adirondacks. I've never right. been there. Right. Oh, well, I wish you could get up there. <laughs> you would really dig the Adirondack oh. Museum. It has a whole section of lumberjacking and oh. how they did it back in the That's day. That's a picture of our cabin that my dad built. Wow. He built it here and took it up. Except he put, put the it together. On it up there. <laughs> <laughs>